Hi folks and welcome to DevTrends. Today we're gonna talk about HTTP client called KY and tool for testing packages in browser called HyperConsole. So browsers have long and rough history regarding making remote requests. XML HTTP request is an overly complicated thing, but we had to use it for a long time before a real hero, Fetch API appeared. Fitch brought us a simple yet powerful tooling for interacting with server API and now every major browser supports it, so struggle is over. But the sky's limit and Cindy Sorkos made a small library called KY to further simplify and optimize HTTP requests from a client. So let's install it and see how it works. So here is repository, let's create a new folder for it and see how it works. Projects, let's create ky demo. Let's do npm init as well as usual. And let's install webpack as we need, client bind bundle and ky itself. So let's wait a bit till it installs. So here is our project structure. Let's create SRC folder and let's create this folder. Uh, not this, but maybe this. And let's create an index.js in our SRC folder. And here let's just import ky from ky. Here, so uh, the API is pretty similar to fetch one, but it's uh, it's simpler than the fetch. So there is in uh, ky GitHub repository there's a usage example, so you can see there is a ky example and plain fetch example, and you see that plain fetch example is kind of larger than the why to a great extent so let's for example take some code from here and just uh, use for example Star Wars API which is a good okay on this Star Wars API dot call which is a good API for testing remote APIs so let's for example select copy this and let's let's fetch first person from this API and let's console log it so you can see there is uh, several methods like HTTP methods for, for KY, like post, get, put, delete. And you can just send a request. For example, uh, here we send a post request to this Star Wars API with some parameters. So any parameters you need, you can just put in the second argument. And then we just uh, simply call in the method, the chain method JSON which transforms our response to JSON response and just console login. So let's save it. And let's run webpack watch here. Yeah, we need to install webpack seller as well. I'll make it a bit larger. Okay, seems our bundle is ready. Yeah, my JS and let's create uh, index HTML as well to serve our bundle. Okay, and let it be script src dist dist main JS. Saving it and 
just using a small server here called serve and we are serving current folder going to localhost 5000 okay it seems to be working and let's see our okay sorry that's it uh, where's our chrome okay let's open the tools and you can see there is a response for our uh, KY request to Star Wars API. So you can see there is an object which we printed via console log here. So it's working. So KY is a real small but useful library. So it's like little wrapper around uh, plain fetch API. It's very small, it's like uh, one kilobyte minifined and zip and it has all the necessary important methods like get, post, put, patch and others to perform uh, remote HTTP requests and it's really useful thing to wrap around your native page API. So there are tons of different libraries and we often struggle to choose the best suited for us. Or what we just want to test it and see how it works in real life. We can for sure install it as npm package, include in our bundle and write some lines for it in the code, but it all looks a bit overcomplicated if we just want to play around a bit. And I've always loved library websites like lodash.com because here you can simply open your dev tools and test all lodash methods you need because it's already loaded on the page so you can see there is a loader here and you can just map some array for example yeah but now we've got a website specifically for this and it's called hyper console here you can load any libraries that exist on cdn.js and it will automatically be loaded into current window scope so for example let's see how it works for example, the same Lodash, we just put it here, you can see in the fuzzy search and here is Lodash.js, we just click on it and you can see it appeared in loaded libraries block. So now we can just open our console in DevTools, you can see loaded Lodash message here and as usual you can use Lodash but for example if you need jquery maybe you can just click jquery and you can see the reset jquery loaded as well so now we have all the methods like let's select document you can see it's working and this is really great tool for testing your client packages without really installing it and just to mm, for example recall some api methods if you forgot it and uh, you just need to test in real life before uh, installing in your client package so this is a really good website it is a project uh, it's available on github so you can go to it and like it and this is small but really handy to win for your client packages so that's all for today, folks. All the links are in the description below. Thank you for watching and stay trendy.